Okay, let's take a look at uh, at the water bowling. So before I show you the water bowling or how to do it, which is uh, this guy here, um, let's just talk about for a moment uh, the regular bowling and why you might want to do a water bowling. And really the reason is, um, you know, if we tie a regular bowling and we're not using a whipping or a seizing or a, another way of um, securing this end, depending on how springy your, your line is and uh, if the tension is not going to be constant but rather more of a jerky motion, uh, there's some worry that this may find a way to work itself loose. Um, so the water bowling is um, just a, a nice way of securing the bowling and I guess traditionally it was used um, like literally if the line was being dragged through the water so it would be out of sight and uh, you know maybe attached to a tender or to a bag of laundry or something dragging behind uh, the big boat. So let's uh, I guess take a look quickly at the the water bowl. You can see it's got an extra loop here that uh, hangs on to the, uh, the tail. So rather than a regular bowling where this guy might be free to move around with the water bowling, that loop, especially once there's some tension on here, hangs onto this tail and secures it. So let's uh, take a look ahead of tight. So I guess we'll use this end. And uh, essentially you're going to tie this like you would a, a standard bowling, but instead of um, making a, a single loop, I'm going to make two. So I'm, in this case I'm starting with two uh, overhand loops. So I'll form the, uh, the eye part of the bowling. And now uh, we'll come underneath both loops. Now with a regular bowling you would, there would only be one loop and you would come underneath the one loop. So with the water bowl and you come under and through both loops, under the standing part of the line, and then now go over top of both loops. So over top of this guy, over top of the next guy, and then you can work them, work them tight and, and dress it up. So there's your water bowl. The more we pull here, the, uh, the more it's going to pinch and squeeze on, uh, on this tail and keep them secure. Let me do that one more time and uh, hopefully it will it'll be clear how it works. So instead of your one loop for a regular bowl and we're doing two. So because I'm over top on these two, two overhand loops, I'm going to come in from the bottom on both of them. So up from the bottom on the first one, up from the bottom on the second one, I'm going to come underneath the standing part and then now I'll do the opposite. So I'm coming down from the top on the first one and down from the top on the second one. And yeah, just sort of dress them up and work them tight. And you know, if I want this a little closer to the end, I can just move the loop a little closer to the end. So it's a nice, nice way of securing your bowling. You know, there's no great harm will come if um, this thing somehow manages to work loose, you'll still have a, a standard bowling. So there's your your water bowling.